Testing, testing, testing. Hi everyone. H happy sept happy Wednesday, September September 16, 2020, 7:25 a.m. Welcome to the Hockley Show. This is my new channel where I discuss politics, civil rights, my life, and I'm going to be more open and revealing about my who I am, and I'm going to tell more about my life story. Um, I'm going to talk about the great loves I have in life, the great <laughs> failures I have had in life, the great successes life lessons and how to survive <laughs> live and thrive in America but to thrive in the world in a larger populace uh, I want to talk about meditation Buddhism and everything um, I am the owner of Nighthawk Films I am the owner of Night Edge Films I am the owner of Nighthawk Kung Fu and several other YouTube and the co-owner of Night Rush uh, Films and um, I have a couple film projects and stuff ideas working on uh, I feel I can be more free on um, the Hockley show where I I can be more myself um, the Hockley show is a is a product of Nighthawk Films Entertainment Incorporated so uh, all copyrights and trademarks are to be respected. Um, <laughs> my shirt's kind of, <laughs> yeah, I'll wear, I'll wear, I'll wear a better shirt. Um, the Huckley Show, what are my intentions? I hope to be able to compete with uh, Stephen Colbert, The Daily Show, Trevor Noah. Um, I want to carry on the uh, a legacy of Jon Stewart. I want to be able to do journalism and news reporting. Um, I have a bachelor's certificate, a trade school certificate in film. Uh, I am still working on my uh, a traditional bachelor's degree in college. College is expensive. <laughs> um, I've had to. T I've told some people that I have a college degree when I'm still working on it because there's a sense of Asian failure, pride, all this crazy stuff. I'll explain the the madness of college. Uh, I'll do movie reactions. Um, movies from all genres and ages um, I, I, I wish I arrived at the stage five years ago I wish I just started with the Huckley show five years ago um, I, I would be better economically well off <laughs> but I realized at the same time there was a sense of maturity and emotional growth and the quality of human being I'm a better human being I, at 27, almost 28, than who I was at 20, uh, who I was at 18. Um, I, I see other YouTubers mature faster and s some slower and some making a lot of money quick and some taking their time. And um, I've learned to be the tortoise more than the hare. Uh, the show is so people get, me be know, get to know me better. Um, this, this show is also for atonement. Some people that I've wronged or made mistakes uh, with, um, they can hear my life story from a place of empathy, but also I can hear their stories. I can tell more about the human experience. I believe that life is about empathy and compassion, and the more we can practice compassion for one another, we can practice deep love and caring. Um, I've learned to run a business for six years. Uh, I am I finished my fifth year at Nighthawk Films, and this will be my uh, sixth year. Um, Nighthawk Films is limited by the the fact that I was on. A, it's kind of like PG thirteen light. It's more family friendly, so there's only so much stories I can tell. Um, Night Edge Films is uh, more PG-13+, plus, hard PG-13, so there's like a split, and I'm, I'm, not kind of, I'm still not sure what to do with it, but um, I want to try out the Hockley show, where it gets to be Hockley, I'm not this corporation, I'm not this or that, I, I don't have to divide my audience, I just want to be Hockley, I just want to be myself, and um, yeah, <laughs> this will be fun. Um, I want to do sketch comedies. Uh, I can do a Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders, the one percent. They have too much. They have too much. <laughs> so like Bernie Sanders, he's um, he, he got that Brooklyn accent. 
I, I saw a lot of mafia movies growing up, but also his cadence is very Vietnamese. Like, it, it, in Vietnamese, the one percent, người một phần trăm, người một phần trăm, cái cái dạo quá, người một phần trăm, dạo quá, người chín mươi trăm, mấy chín mươi chín phần trăm, nghèo quá. So the cadence of Bernie Sanders is very similar to Vietnamese uh, cadence, so that's what I'm used to. Um, I, I want to review uh, Vietnam War films. I want to discuss the history of the Vietnamese people. I, I want to do book reviews. I, I want to review Arkham Knight, video games, whatever I want. Um, with Nighthawk films, I was still learning how to make a YouTube channel, but also there were too many cooks in the kitchen. People were telling me, oh, do this for children. Oh, you don't do this. Do, do, do. It's, it was too many cooks in the kitchen. I'd rather just start over. I'd start fresh. Because then with Nighthawk Films, I'm like, oh, I've had it for five years. Why isn't it growing as fast as blah, 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 blah. And I don't, I don't need, I don't want to break that cycle. Um, and Night Edge Films, I'm, I've uploaded some stuff, but still learning how to use it. So. Welcome to the Huckley Show. Um, thanks for listening to my long rant. Um, I <laughs> do comedy. I'm gonna talk about what it's like to be raised as a Vietnamese um, American, Vietnamese uh, person uh, in America. The confusion, um, the <laughs> the emotional battles with my parents, um, just being an immigrant. And the fact that a lot of parents don't know how to raise children in a way that's healthy. Uh, the scars of the Bush years, the scars of Vietnam. Um, the healing period that Obama gave us. And um, I will practice talking about Trump in, a, in the kindest way possible. Um, a lot of, but I, I will be only God and Jesus can deal with Trump. That's, that's all I'm going to say. God, Jesus, Buddha, Kuan Yin, the universe, nothingness, whatever you want to just, whatever your faith is or no faith, at the end of the day, only the universe can judge. We're not, we're just here to fight for civil rights. Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Camera up here. Black Lives Matter, yes. We're here to fight for civil rights. And, um, Life is about compassion and empathy. Life is about learning to love one another and to forgive one another. And um, in relationships, there has to be honesty. No matter how painful the truth is, it's better to have um, the quick truth than a slow lie, because that, that, that's more hurtful in the end. And um, both people come out sicker. And so life has to be honest. Um, the way we're ra raised is like this Charles, Charles Dickens world. Oh, rich people are evil and poor people are good. And that's not true. Um, I don't agree with the school system. Like this whole uh, not teaching children education, a business education is terrible. You, you, you need economic education before you graduate eighth grade. You need economic education before you graduate fourth grade. You need economic education before you graduate twelfth grade. Um, the fact that the college system expects, uh, the fact that everything, the knowledge system is pushed down to college is wrong. It's morally wrong. Um, the fact that colleges are so expensive, the fact that um, mo most colleges have predominantly white teachers, and uh, the, the, the American school system that I've been through, the higher, the advanced classes, the higher level teachers are predominantly white. And some of them are very empathetic, and that's okay, and that's cool. Some of them I made cool friends with, sort of. As close of a friend you can make with a teacher as a student. And some of them were really racist. I went to NYU Poly, and Lorcan Fullen was, he was really mean to me. He was borderline racist. I don't know. I didn't know that he, what the word racism was until Trump. I, I had, I, he felt experience. I didn't put a word to it until Trump showed up. But yeah, um, Lorcan Fullen, the head of the physics department at NYU Poly. Um, I met him like three times. And the third time, he's like, what are you effing stupid? What are you effing chasing skirts? It's gonna take you effing eight years to graduate college. So yeah, 
Um, it <laughs> left a better taste in my mouth in the college system. Uh, <laughs> my advice, be careful uh, who you pick for teachers in life. Be careful what school you go to. Do your research. Um, what are their politics? Uh, how kind of the teachers? How expensive is the school? And why you probably was 50000 a year in 2011, and now it's tw uh, in 2020, it is uh, 70000 plus. And in 2010, it only allowed women to the school. So there was this toxic masculine energy. Uh, and like, there was like 100 dudes to one girl, to every girl, for every one girl. And so uh, there was this competitiveness. Uh, girls which is un which is ridiculous uh, women are human beings and sh should not be treated as Helen of Troy that um, Romeo and Juliet teaches suicide oh I have to be m magically in love with this person I have sex with them for one night and then and if they don't love me then I'll commit suicide and that's wrong uh, when I was taught Romeo and Juliet at 14 15 and ninth grade no one said to me that's wrong that's not uh, it wasn't until like uh, 11th grade where a friend said that, that, that that's wrong to, because it teaches suicide so we have to talk about mental wellness uh, I want to change the word from mental illness to mental wellness <clears throat> uh, we <laughs> excuse me we have to change energy uh, Trump is the product of the Bush uh, what if what if Cheney had a third? T had a, what if Cheney ran for president or something without Bush? Well, Cheney is basically Trump. Uh, Trump is Cheney's third term, really. Cheney and Karl Rove. Um, yeah. Welcome to the Hockley Show, where we discuss about peace. Uh, John Lennon, Beatles, Dr. King. Uh, welcome to the. And Occupy Wall Street. That was fun. Welcome to the Hockley Show. Uh, this is the most political. This is the openly political Hawk. Um, I'm not the scared little kid anymore. And um, I do have some. Um, I have some lawsuits uh, against the U.S. government coming up, and I'll be okay with it. Uh, if the, if these if this video get if if my videos get used in a court case, I'll be okay with it. <laughs> ah, peace, 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 peace. Um, so th in the hippie generation, this is peace, but it also came from war, uh, V for victory, and the energy goes two ways. Uh, a, a Muslim man taught me this is this is peace in, in Arabic. Um, this means God, and this means peace. So when you see like. Uh, some Muslim people and some black people do this uh, this means God and this means peace so uh, I believe this will be the, the the millennial version of peace or the Gen Z because the, the peace goes together yeah although strangely if it's turned <laughs> it kind of looks like a weapon but it's, it's all about peace this is peace this is my version of peace thank you Namaste. Peace, 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 peace. Thank you. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Uh, praises, praises, and praises, and praises. Thank you. Oh, let me wrap something. I'm here for my people to represent the love, the unity, and the peace. We ain't here to fight one another. We're here, one, we're here to love one another. It is our duty to break our chains. It is our duty to love one another. This hatred ain't gonna exist. Oh... Women, you gotta tell your men the truth, and men, you gotta tell women the truth. Ooh, we are here to love one another. We're here to fight for freedom. We're here to love one another. We're here to fight for our freedom. Our past ain't our future. Our future ain't our past. We ain't chained by the past. No matter how many heartbreaks or how many times our hearts been broken, no matter how many people break our hearts, we must fight on. We must live. We must be revolutionaries of the heart. We must be evolutionaries of the heart. We must be freedom fighters. We must love. We must be free. We must love. We must be free. We must fight the YouTube algorithm. We must 
fight we must fight the corporation we must fight the YouTube algorithm we must fight the corporation unite my peoples unite for all the nations <laughs> I'm Asian I'm I'm mixed uh, Asian people are black and white people mixed the uh, uh, <laughs> Black people, African people took over Asia first before white people did. So, yeah, that's my legacy. I'm a mixed, um, I'm Afro Asian. Part of me is Asian, Caucasian, whatever. Yeah, we're, uh, I got raised by a Dominican uncle, by a Dominican family. So he has, like, Uncle Jose, he has a thick accent. Hulk, you be my film protege. Um, yeah, I got adopted by Italian family when I was a kid. Yeah, <laughs> I I got adopted by uh, Grandma Evie, who's a Black American Indian Creole, has a Chinese uh, father. Yeah, um, I grew up in a Muslim country in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is sixty percent Muslim. I grew up in Vietnam. There's a lot of Buddhism there. I grew up with Christianity. I'm, I'm pretty much interfaith. Um, I do carry the scars of the Vietnam War. Uh, I do carry Vietnam. I do carry Vietnam PTSD and stuff. Um, I have a long way to go, but come on, come on this journey. Come into my world. Let's talk about peace, love, light, and Robin Williams. <laughs> Live at the Mets, an evening with Robin Williams. The part of Robin Williams we will be played by The Temptations. <laughs> Peace. On that note, thank you. Peace.